Let's listen to his remarks live right now. And simply couldn't make it down, but for my wife Suzanne and our daughter Shay and Mike to be with me is very humbling. To have the governor standing behind me, as he always has, is tremendous strength for me. To have Bill Sally, who has never wavered, and who, is there, who has been there by phone call and by prayer, and his wife, is tremendously humbling. For the leader of our party, Kirk Sullivan, to be standing here, who sought immediate counsel with me in this, is in itself humbling. For Tom Luna, for any public official at this moment in time, to be standing with Larry Craig is in itself a humbling experience. For most of my adult life, I've had the privilege of serving the people of Idaho. I'm grateful for the opportunity they have given me. It has been a blessing. I am proud of my record and accomplishments and equally proud of the wonderful and talented people with whom I have had the honor and the privilege to work and to serve. I choose to serve because I love Idaho. What is best for Idaho has always been the focus of my efforts and it is no different today. To Idahoans, I represent, to my staff, my Senate colleagues, but most importantly, to my wife and my family, I apologize for what I have caused. I am deeply sorry. I have little control over what people choose to believe, but clearly my name is important to me and my family is so very important also. Having said that, to pursue my legal options as I continue to serve Idaho would be an unwanted and unfair distraction of my job and for my Senate colleagues. These are serious times of war and of conflict, times that deserve the Senate's and the full nation's attention. There are many challenges facing Idaho that I am currently involved in, and the people of Idaho deserve a senator who can devote 100% of his time and effort to the critical issues of our state and of our nation. Therefore, it is with sadness and deep regret that I announce that it is my intent to resign from the Senate effective September 30th. In doing so, in doing so, in doing, in doing so, I hope to allow a smooth and orderly transition of my loyal staff and for the person appointed to take my place at William E. Boris' desk. I have full confidence that Governor Otter will appoint a successor who will serve Idaho with distinction. I apologize to the people of our great state for being unable to serve out a term to which I have been elected. Few people have had the privilege and the pleasure to represent Idaho for as many years as I have. Each day, each week, each year brought new challenges and opportunities to create a better life for Idahoans. I have enjoyed every moment and cannot adequately put into words how much I appreciate what you have given me the chance to work for this great state. I hope you do not regret the confidence you have placed in me over all of these years. I hope I have served you and our state to the best of my ability. Lastly, Suzanne and I have been humbled beyond words by the tremendous outpouring of support we have received from our friends, our family, our staff, and fellow Idahoans. We are profoundly and forever grateful. Thank you all very much. Your attention real quick. Senator Craig will be, will be putting out a Q&A to answer any questions that you guys might have, and we'll be doing that within the hour. Thank you.